Hey there folks, today I've got an Ubers battle against eSample of Smogon. Um, so I'm still using the same team, still haven't even swapped out Life Orb for Leftovers on that Dialga, which I need to do before my next battle. Um, but yeah, I, you know, I keep meaning to make changes, but honestly, the variant that I'm playing with on PS right now, which uh, replaces Dialga and um, uh, Giratina O with... Um, Arceus and Ar Arceus Steel and Rayquaza. I don't think it's really doing too much better. I mean, it's nice to have uh, extreme speed priority on um, Rayquaza, but Arceus Steel is kind of shitty. Um, but you know, on the other hand, the, the whole point is to block fairy types, ma namely Xerneas. But Xerneas often has Focus Blast, so I don't know. I don't know. But uh, let's just get down to the battle. Uh, I don't like to just set up Stealth Rocks first turn when my opponent is a Deoxys S or D for that matter, because they oftentimes carry the taunt. He, it turns out, is just going for the hazards, so what the hell, I'll just go for hazards too. Uh, he goes ahead and sets up spikes. Now, uh, so he's going to get three layers of hazards up, so I maybe should have taken him out. But honestly, I'd rather have my, uh, my rocks up. Then him uh, have one extra layer of spikes. Not one layer, extra layer of spikes doesn't really matter. Um, but you know, this is actually a compelling case for getting rid of Chansey and putting on a spinner instead, because then I really don't have to worry about is he setting up uh, hazard or not. So now um, Deox is down. Einstein is losing HP, and uh, that's okay. Uh, out now is going to come his um, Groudon and something. Ooh, okay, whatever. Uh, yeah. So, weather teams are gone in Gen 6. I've not seen anyone try to actually run a weather team. I mean, you run Groudon because it's a physical wall, or you run Kyogre because it's um, kind of, it's got that water spout, that amazing water spout. Um, but I just really haven't seen people do too much other. He, it turns out, is running a, an offensive Groudon. I was like, well, yeah, why would you have Groudon if you've already got your rocks up? He's running an offensive Groudon, and I really wish I... Um, I played this a little bit differently, uh, so I'm going to go for Outrage. Does not actually take out Groudon, and I'm going to die to a second Dragon Claw. So yeah, I was not really expecting that, but he's losing health with his Life Orb, so you know, he's going to be really easy to pick off. So now I've got a choice of who do I want to send out to pick uh, to pick him off. I decide Mewtwo should be a pretty good option. Go out into Mewtwo, uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and Mega Evolve and hit him with a Psy Strike, because no matter who he sends in, Psy Strike is going to hit hard. Um, I mean, I guess Ice Beam could work too, but Side Strike does more if he switches in like Xerneas or something. But at that range of health, I don't think he would be switching out um, his Groudon anyway. So people, uh, people were saying, you know, hey Antar, if you're running, um, if you're running Mewtwo Y, why not just run Mewtwo with Life Orb? Um, you know, they have basically the same offensive capability. The answer is that Mewtwo Y has better uh, stats all told. I think I, I'll, if it hits hard, if Mewtwo regular hits harder than that's actually news to me. Um, but it's got better defenses and it's got better speed, and I think that those are kind of worth it. Kind of really worth it. Um, so he goes for. The, so I'm going to lose my Mewtwo here because he is going to go for the extreme speed. Nothing I can really do. Um, and I'm going to lose Feynman. Uh, but at least Feynman got basically a full kill. I mean, so one pick off and then Arceus is down to pretty much no health. Now I do have to be a little careful because Arceus and I usually run Recover. Um, unless it's the full attacking Arceus. Uh, for the four attacks Arceus. But, um, you know, why wouldn't you run Recover on a pretty bulky Pokemon that has it? So, oh, sorry, uh, not four attacks. So, um, Swords Dance, three attacks. Um, so now I guess I... I um, changed into him, so I actually know what his fourth move is. Um, I guess third and fourth moves, because all I've seen is extreme speed. But yeah, so gonna have to switch out here since he very wisely made, made a play into Gengar. I could have predicted that. Right, he had the Shadow Claw, and I could have gone for that, but if I'd gone for that, then, you know, I would have been screwed. I guess maybe Earthquake was the last move, but Earthquake is still, he's still immune to it, so either way. Um, so Gengar goes ahead and Mega Evolves here. Um, so, yeah, it is what it is, um, and I, I'm just sacking Dialga because I figure of all my Pokemon, that's the one that I can afford to lose the most and is going to do the least. Amazingly, Dialga takes one of those hits, and that, you know, this is, this is Gen 6, uh, Steel no longer resists Ghost, so that's pretty darn impressive considering I'm not running any defense investment whatsoever. 
So now I'm going to go back out into Fermi. I'm just going to copy his um, Gengar, see what he runs. Kind of hoping he runs something that I can use against both Gengar and Arceus. I'm not sure what that would be. Sludge Bomb, maybe, but not really even that. Uh, but he doesn't, so I have to go for the Shadow Ball and pray that he doesn't go out into Arceus. And he didn't go out into Arceus, which is really, really good news. So that is a dead, uh, yeah, that's, that thing's dead. Uh, now out is going to come Arceus. The Shadow Claw is obvious. He's got just a little smidgen of HP left, uh, but I want to hold, and it's because he's going to die to Life Orb, but I'm going to want to switch out, um, you know, because I want to save my Ditto for later. So that's just two Pokemon that I've transformed into to stop sweeps. Um, so C Marie Curie is out. He goes for the Extreme Speed, uh, and that Marie Curie should be able to survive considering he's... Uh, not a, he's just a zero, and in, indeed survives, and he takes out himself due to life orb. So now, out is going to come Xerneas, this is uh, an, an optimal opportunity, he thinks, to Mega Evolve, um, but you know what, I've got that covered, I'm going to go ahead, and while he goes for the Geomancy, I didn't mean Mega Evolve, I said Mega Evolve, but I did not, I meant Geomancy. Um, I obviously meant Geomancy, but anyway, um, I know there are people in the audience who are already, who are about to post a comment that said, Antar, I'm pretty sure you meant Geomancy, not Mega. Anyway, forget that. Um, I go for the Toxic here. That's the bottom line. I go for the Toxic on the very obvious Geomancy, and now I just have to stall him out a little bit, and then Ditto can, uh, can save the day, sweep everything, and it'll be fine. Just gotta get a little bit of residual damage off on this Xerneas. So, um, Xerneas is gonna go for the Moonblast, is going to take out Marie Curie. Yeah, actually, I'm thinking, so, the thing is that, um, when he sends out his Ditto... Oh, right, right, so, yeah. So, Ditto can't transform into Ditto. So, I figure, lose my Xerneas, it's fine, um, go out into my Ditto, he caught, uh, take this guy out, and then he sends out Ditto, and that's it. Um, so, here I'm predicting just lose Xerneas to, um, a Moonblast, but he actually withdraws. He actually withdraws and goes, uh, goes out into his ditto, and I'm thinking, well, I'm having Geomancy, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't care. Um, so he's gonna go ahead and copy me with Imposter, but, you know, I haven't Mega Evolved yet. It's not scary. It's not scary at all. Um, so I actually just go for the Moonblast here, uh, and I think it's gonna take him out. And it doesn't. It gets him close. Um, so now he's going to go for the Moonblast. I think I can take that. Uh, yeah, 12 HP. And here I go for the Geomance. <laughs> because I figure, you know, if I survive, then at least I can take out both of his Pokemon. Um, so yeah, I go ahead and, make, and uh, Geomancy here. Um, power Orb activates. I've got the best uh, attacks known to man. And, uh, yeah, this is a good game, but kind of just a weird play there, I guess. You know, so had he not, had he left uh, Xerneas in to die, uh, or had he not done the switch out, then he would have been in a bad situation because Ditto can't transform into Ditto. But as it stands, uh, we're all good, and this is just another way for me to win. So that's another Uber's victory with really what's not that great of a team. I need to fix it. I need to figure out how to fix it. I'm hoping the answer isn't start from scratch. Like, you know, honestly, a lot of the time it really is start from scratch. But, you know what, whatever. I'm enjoying this team while it lasts. Um, great game, eSample. Folks, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. And take it easy.